Good morning. It is day five in Paris. It is our last primarily organized day. We will have one organized event tomorrow, which will be a farewell dinner. But tomorrow will be a free day for the students to explore Paris on their own. Today, we will first be going to a courthouse. This was just added to the itinerary this morning, essentially. So I'm excited to see that. I love seeing a courthouse. We will then be going over to the Notre Dame area. You did see a little video when we passed by that yesterday, seeing all the scaffolding from the fire that happened there a couple years ago. So that's really sad, but it'll still be great to go and look over in that area of Paris. There will be some free time for students to have a long lunch and do some shopping. And then we are going to the Orsay Museum, which is more modern art than the Louvre that we saw yesterday. And then after that, we will take a trip out to the Eiffel Tower, where we'll be able to see that up close for the first time. So I think it's going to be a great day. Come along with us. My name is Shelly. I study the criminal justice program. Uh, my name is Caitlin, and I am in the program. My favorite thing was the tour of London. Uh, I really love the palace and uh, seeing all the old artifacts. I liked my like, tour that I did with the police officers. I felt like I learned a lot about what they do and some of the things that are different from what our cops do versus what their cops do. We took a new form of transportation this morning, a tram, over to what is essentially a trial court building that was built just in 2020, so as you can see, it's very modern and new. We checked the schedule of different hearings that were going on and made our way upstairs to some courthouses. You see an example here. I wasn't able to take a picture in the hearing we actually saw for, for obvious reasons, but it was really interesting. We then walked through a nearby park, which I think would be absolutely beautiful in the summertime. And even in the wintertime like this, it's not too bad. Everybody got a kick out of this particular duck because it's so colorful. We then made our way over to Notre Dame, first passing by this building, which has a reference to the Olympics that's coming later this summer. Uh, here is the area near the Seine where we crossed a bridge to get over by Notre Dame. We split up a little bit. This is the group I was in for lunch today. And then I stopped to get a crepe after lunch because I hadn't had a crepe yet. I got one that is caramel. It was like a salted caramel inside. It was really, really good. But here are just some video of him making the crepes on the little griddle-like thing that they have that they use to make them. You can find crepe stands in lots of different places, especially in the touristy areas of Paris, and it's always a good thing to stop and get. So I really enjoyed my crepe, and then we made our way over to Notre Dame to take some pictures, which you'll see coming up. After seeing Notre Dame, we went on to do some shopping, particularly in this chocolate shop. One of the students had been looking for chocolate for a while, so we were glad to run across this shop. A bunch of us bought some things, including me, and I'm sure they're going to be excellent when we bring them home. We then made our way over to the Orsay Museum, which is a more modern art museum than what we saw at the Louvre yesterday. So here are some pictures of things that I or the students thought was interesting at the museum. And now for lots and lots of Eiffel Tower pictures. Hope you enjoy.
Megan. I'm in the accounting program and today I visited the Eiffel Tower and we got to go up and I touched it. 